What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. And I wanted to talk about that TV spot that came out earlier today, last night. Again, I'm not sure when it came out. I know I just touched on it briefly in that compilation or that collected video I did not too long ago today. But I want to talk about this separately on its own. So I again touched on it briefly in the last video I just put out. But what I this TV spot that we've gotten is what I wish we had been getting more of in terms of the marketing and what they've been giving us instead of this Lori Strode versus Michael Myers thing when a heavy chunk of this movie will have what I assume zilch to do with a final battle between those two and that final battle they're hyping up probably only makes up maybe two six minutes of the movie max maybe the last 10 uh because again from what we know going off of the trailer and just again and i guess not know but going off of things we have pieced together from the trailer and the plot details these two don't seem like they're going to be at each other's throats again they're not after each other so i wish we would have been getting more of what this tv spot had to serve us because it was a very effective tv spot and i would say in a lot of ways more effective than that initial trailer so what we got in this TV spot, we got another glimpse at Corey, Lonnie, and his idiot friend saying he's going to get you. Echoing again is another nice touch that just hypes up Michael Myers and who he is as that's sprinkled out throughout the TV spot as well. So that was wonderfully put together there. The callback to Bob's death in the 78 original, it was in a, a lot of ways, again, more effective than that first trailer we've gotten. So the TV spot opened with a shot of Haddonfield on Halloween night. Then it cuts to a shot of Corey and two other characters behind him while he says, it's Halloween. We're going to have a good time tonight. At least that's where I remember. So then it then jumps to a look at Michael's mask on the ground in a house with the lights out, I assume, before we see a hand reach out, which again, I assume this is Michael Myers going to pick it up. And while that's happening, Lonnie is heard saying the boogeyman is coming before he goes to go before the uh, he's going to get you starts playing repeatedly in the background throughout the rest of this TV spot. We then get shown several quick cuts after uh, that including a random man looking behind himself a shot of someone approaching a house Lori strode going downstairs Corey or michael stalking her from behind with a knife michael or Corey are then shown walking down a hall in what i assume is Lori's house so that's probably michael myers going down into the kitchen for their brawl we then are shown a shot of someone running in a junkyard i believe allison at a party michael walking into a shot that's outside it seems we see glimpses of a mob a girl screaming Lori hiding from michael in the the kitchen someone screaming please help me Lori is then shown walking down a hall and she says it's time to put the boogeyman to bed so we see more moments of their kitchen brawl and michael closes it with a shot of him pinning someone to the bulletin board with his knife before admiring his work similar to how he admired what he did to bob in that 78 original now, I will say there are moments in the spot that could be Corey flashbacks or just flashbacks in general, I guess, because in the first trailer, we see Corey in a sewer without glasses. So either he stopped wearing them for whatever reason or they fell off before he got to the sewer. However, when he's first shown in this spot, he's wearing glasses and excited about Halloween. So I'm wondering if this is him on the night that this little kid dies going off again, the plot details and the synopsis that was released. Perhaps the babysitting gig that he gets stuck with that night was a last minute thing that messed up his Halloween plans that night because the movie again to my knowledge is supposed to kick off in 2019 so there's a chance that this is going to be a flashback of sorts that maybe we see throughout the movie or maybe we see a very long drawn out sequence from 2019 to open the movie so the person picking up the Michael mask must of course be Michael why is it on the ground the answer has to be tied to Corey Cunningham or whatever relationship these two are about to have in Halloween ends well, I I think we also see glimpses of a bus and a crash very similar and reminiscent to of course the bus crash from the 2018 halloween movie but why is this bus crashing is it the same bus is it a flashback or is there a moment in the movie where Corey cunningham's accusations that are brought against him in some fashion of course lead to him going through a trial because again i feel like what's going to happen is Corey going off of that bus that's shown in the tv spot Corey either goes to trial is found innocent but before that of course he might have been getting transported places going from smith's grove to some other sanitarium or just being taken into smith's grove and maybe that's why we see shot a shot of a bus or maybe michael for whatever reason has something to do with this bus i don't know why there was a shot of a bus in the tv spot but that is something else i remember seeing from said tv spot there was definitely a shot of a bus so we could have a few flashbacks thrown into the mix maybe some showing us more of what happened on 
Halloween 2018 or maybe just something that helps us further establish who Corey is and what happened to him on that night that this kid dies when he's babysitting said kid again going off of the synopsis it says he will stand accused after a babysitting accident now there is a chance that he isn't even babysitting and he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time with someone else who was babysitting but I think it's pretty clear that Corey Cunningham is the one that will be babysitting in this movie someone will die under his watch whether that be intentional or unintentional we will find that out when the movie releases this TV spot and what they gave us with this this is what i would love to see more of in a final trailer versus us just having it set around Lori versus michael when Lori versus michael is probably going to make up maybe six seven or less minutes max of the movie because again these two they have no conflict they have things that they could create a conflict with them for or work with them for in a narrative but we're not going to get that most likely we're going to get a movie heavily um, heavily focused on this Corey Cunningham individual. We're going to see a bigger conflict between him and Michael Myers and Laurie Strode will again, coincidentally, like in 2018, I assume is going to come together, have this final battle with him, even though again, for the entirety of this trilogy, they still have not had a single conflict. Although there are things that they're throwing in there as like Easter eggs and nods to the original old, like the fact that he's going after her with a knitting needle. Okay, well, yeah, that is one thing. Yeah, look, he's saying he remembers you, I guess. What that's from 40 years ago. There is already a conflict that you could have focused on established in Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. This man has terrorized her and killed killed her daughter and tried to kill her granddaughter and has caused a lot of pain for said granddaughter so we'll see what they end up doing with halloween ends because of the fact that again a large chunk of this is going to have to do with Corey cunningham from what i can assume going off the plot details and the tv spot and the original trailer and the fact that they are trying to hype up this michael versus Lori thing when it's clear as day it's not going to be just strictly michael versus Lori. but let me know what you guys thought about that tv spot down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and miss video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video